Hey guys, how are you doing? So many of you had requested for a quick Mexican rice. So here it is. And the best part of this recipe is that we do not require too many vessels or pots for this as we are going to cook and assemble everything in one pot without much hassles and time. So let's get started. To prepare this quick one pot Mexican rice, here I've got this long grain that is basmati rice, which is around one and a half cups. Try using a good quality long grain rice for best results as this Mexican rice comes out really flavorful with this rice. I have soaked this just for half an hour. We'll keep this aside for now. Next up in a pan or in a wok, add in 2 tablespoons of oil. You can also use butter instead for extra taste and flavor. To this, we'll add in 1 tablespoon of finely chopped garlic. Stir it and cook it for about a minute until it's slightly fried and golden brown. When this is done, next goes in 2 medium sized onions which I've chopped like this. Cook that as well for about 2 to 3 minutes or until slightly soft. Do not turn it very dark. So after about 2 to 3 minutes, these onions are nice and soft. Now we'll strain the water from the rice and add it to the pan. So I've strained all the water and added all the rice to the pan. Do not add any water at this point of time. Saute it just for about 1 to 2 more minutes along with the onions. Sauteing the rice in the oil will really bring out that nutty flavor and the rice tends to become more flavorful, tasty and separated after getting cooked because it gets a nice coating of the oil. So I sauteed it just for about a minute or two. Now we'll add in the capsicum. So here I'm using different colored capsicums that is green, yellow and the red ones. But if you don't get these, you can simply use only the green because Mexican cuisine is full of colorful vegetables. And after the capsicum goes in half a cup of green peas. So today I'm using the frozen ones, but if you want, you can use the fresh also as it will get easily cooked along with the rice. Mix it a bit and then goes in half a cup of tomato puree. I'm using the ready-made tomato puree for that tangy flavor and color. But if you want, you can simply crush three to four tomatoes for this in the blender and add it to the pan. Mix it slightly and now we'll add in some herbs. So in goes some salt, little black pepper powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of red chili powder for color. And I'm also using one teaspoon of red chili flakes for spiciness as Mexican rice is a bit on spicier side. Then I'm adding one teaspoon of oregano and about a tablespoon or two of tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is optional but it will really balance out all the flavors in this dish. Mix everything really well until they are well combined with each other but do not toss for too many times. Now we'll add in water. So here I've added one and a half cups of rice so normally we use three cups of water for one and a half cups of rice that is double the quantity of the rice but since these vegetables have enough moisture because of the tomato puree also because we have added half a cup of tomato puree we'll add in little lesser than three cups say around two and a half cups of water so to one and a half cups of rice i'm going to add two and a half cups of water Mix that as well and let it come to a good boil. And then keeping the flame on medium, let it cook further for about 3 to 4 minutes or until you see a very little water remaining on top. Do not cover it with a lid till here. And then after about 3 to 4 minutes when you see a very little water remaining on top, you can see this rice is almost half done. It's not cooked at all but it's slightly to half done. At this stage we'll add in some more ingredients or vegetables like in goes handful of boiled corns next i'm adding half a cup of pre-boiled and salted kidney beans also known as rajma next goes in some spring onions then i'm using some regular green chilies but if you get jalapenos you can use that as well and some fresh coriander give everything a good mix as these vegetables are already pre-boiled, it won't take much time to cook. And without over mixing it, because if you over mix, it will break the rice grains. So just mix it a bit and now let it cook over low flame, covering it with a lid for about 4 to 5 minutes or until it's cooked through. You can check in between after 2 minutes. If you feel the water to be little less, then you can sprinkle very little water and again cook on low flame for another three to four minutes. 
so it's been almost six minutes let's remove the lid and check you can see most of the water is nicely evaporated it's nice and dry we'll puff up and show you all the rice grains they are fully coated with the flavorful base and they're quite separated with each other it's not sticky at all the veggies are also not overcooked they still have some bite and crunch in them you can see this beautiful rice it's looking so colorful it's perfectly done we'll switch off the flame and it's ready to be served hot you can serve it with some sour cream on the side or if you want you can also grate some cheese on top but I'm going to simply serve it by garnishing it with some more greens on top and if you want you can also squeeze some fresh lemon juice if you prefer doesn't it look lovely we'll just take a bite with a spoon and show you how the rice grains looks from within mm. it's too good guys it's really moist and spicy so guys, you also try this recipe and let me know how it turned out for you. Like, share and subscribe for more such recipes from Kanak's Kitchen. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.